Polymerase chain reaction, or commonly known as PCR, is a technique used to amplify DNA through thermal cycling, which are cycles of temperature changes at fixed time intervals. There are three steps in PCR, denaturation, annealing, and elongation. Denaturation is the first step where DNA is melted into single-stranded DNA. Annealing is the second step where the temperature is lowered just enough to allow the binding of primers to the target sequence. Elongation is the third step where a thermostable polymerase tag will synthesize new double-stranded DNA according to the primer binding. The process will cycle back to step 1 and will repeat for 25 to 40 cycles. At the end of PCR, millions of copies of the target DNA sequence will be generated. Here are the objectives. Hands-on experience in performing PCR and cloning. Learning how to determine cell number. Learning how to screen recombinants using blue and white selection method. Flow of the experiment. This practical consists of five experiments carried out over a five-week time frame. This is part one of a two-part video of the entire experiment. Let us now proceed with the first experiment, polymerase chain reaction. These are the reagents and equipment needed. Do check if you have everything before you start. Firstly, prepare the sample as stated in the protocol in a PCR reaction tube. Do remember to label both reaction tubes with their designated labels, followed by your initials. When adding different components, do use a fresh tip to avoid any contamination. Flick the tubes with your fingers to mix the reagents and perform a 5 second short spin to bring the components down to the bottom of the tube. Do try to prevent any formation of bubbles. Next, place the tubes in the thermal cycler and the TA will run the program. At the end of the reaction, the tubes will be stored for the next part of the experiment. In part 2 of this experiment, we will be precipitating the PCR product from week 1. These are the reagents and equipment needed. Do check if you have everything before you start. Firstly, add 6 microliters of pink core precipitant to the PCR product. Use the micropipette to mix the solution thoroughly for 30 seconds. Next, add 56 microliters of sure clean solution to the PCR product. Use the micropipette to mix the solution by pipetting thoroughly for 30 seconds. Next, incubate the samples at room temperature for 10 minutes. After the incubation, centrifuge the sample at 14,000 RCF for 10 minutes. Following this, carefully remove the supernatant without dislodging the cell pellet at the bottom of the tube. Then. Add 112 microliters of 70% ethanol into the tube. This amount is twice the original sample volume. Vortex the sample for 10 seconds. Next, centrifuge the samples at maximum speed for 15 minutes and then remove the supernatant. Air dry the samples as follows to complete the ethanol removal. Do take note not to over dry the sample pellet. Lastly, Resuspend the pellet in 20 microliters of water to store for further downstream procedures. Please remember to label your tubes properly along with your initials to avoid confusion. Do watch the next video in this series for the next three parts of the experiment. Thank you for watching. Have a good laboratory session.